right, this is still month eight, and this is my update for this week. And I will have one tomorrow because I have an orthodontic appointment in the morning. So this is what my teeth look like right now. Okay, and here's the top. And the bottom. Okay, so just very, very, very few minor changes. Uh, I've noticed my bottom teeth have widened just slightly. So my back teeth are slowly starting to touch each other. It hasn't done that in weeks. I haven't been able to actually chew properly in the back of my mouth for a while now. So I just noticed that um, this tooth is still kind of, it's still kind of behind. I mean, it's not like, I don't know if you can tell. It's slowly moving forward. Well, you can tell this tooth is farther forward than this one. And this one almost looks like, kind of like a, what is it called? Like a, a straggle tooth where it kind of sticks out. It looks like it sticks out a little bit. But once this tooth moves forward, which you know what, I'm hoping with my appointment tomorrow, um, hopefully they'll up my wire strength and it'll actually pull my teeth forward a little bit and it'll widen even more. That's the hope. So tomorrow's appointment is gonna be about an hour and a half, um, mainly because they are gonna replace the spring right here. And they're gonna put a bracket on this tooth. Yay! I'm so excited. It's gonna be so painful, <laughs> but I'm really excited about it. So this is what, my spring looks like right now. And if you go to my very, very first video, when I first had this spring on, you can totally tell the difference. There's so much space that this spring has created. So yeah, this tooth will fit nicely right here. And that bracket is gonna pull that tooth forward. Ooh, I am expecting a lot of lower mouth pain, but I, I'm, I'm weirdly looking forward to it. <laughs> Um, mainly because I know for sure that once that tooth comes forward, then um, my bottom teeth will straight, will not only straighten out, but they'll widen too. So um, hopefully it'll, it'll fix my bite. So that's, that's the main problem right now is fixing my bite. Um, obviously braces make your teeth straighter, which is, which is fabulous. Um, I never ever thought I would have straight teeth ever, but um, it's just kind of two in one. So it straightens your teeth and these also widen your teeth too. So I have had so many people message me about, you know, the type of braces that I have and my braces are not traditional. As you can tell, there are no, there, there are no rubber bands on each individual brace, see? They're just metal. And each, each one of these is like a little mini clamp. So it basically clamps onto the, the, uh, the wire right here, so I don't need rubber bands. And that gives, the, um, that gives the braces a chance to move my teeth without being too rigorous. With traditional braces, the, each individual um, rubber band on, on them, it literally forces the teeth to move even if they're not ready to move. So it's actually more painful to get traditional braces than it is to get these kind of braces. So I've had a lot of people ask me about that. Like, oh, well, why, where are your rubber bands? Um, I don't need them. I don't need my, I don't need rubber bands. The only rubber bands that I'm using are these. Those are the only ones. And these, these rubber bands, um, I wear 24 seven, except when I'm eating. So I take them out of my mouth. I eat my food, I brush my teeth, and then I put them right back in brand new ones. So I don't, I don't reuse these. They, they give me, 
easily uh, four or five little baggies worth of rubber bands so that every time I change them out, they're fresh, they're new. So it's a constant, uh, the rubber bands aren't wearing out. Um, if I reuse the rubber bands and the rubber bands, they kind of lose their strength and the chances of them snapping are much greater. So if you have rubber bands on your face and you don't change them out, the chances of it snapping on you are really, really high. Um, so make sure that you're changing out your rubber bands if you have, even if it's not this configuration because every mouth is different. If you have rubber bands in your mouth like this, make sure you're changing them every single time you eat. So. Um, another question that I get is uh, about expanding an expander. No, I do not have an expander. Um, as you can see on the top of my mouth, there is no expander. Uh -uh. There's none and there's none down here. I don't have, I don't have an expander that, that is in there. I don't, I don't crank it. I don't need it because the Damon braces, they're designed to be an expander also pretty amazing right I mean um, it's just amazing how far orthodontics has come and I'm really I'm really actually glad that I waited until until now because you know 10 years ago I would have had to had teeth pulled this tooth they would have had to pull it which I didn't want because um, having an odd number down here it just wasn't appealing to me you know I'd rather have all my teeth if I don't need to extract my teeth I'm not going to Another thing that held me back for so long was my wisdom teeth. I do still have my wisdom teeth, okay? It's a myth that you need to have them extracted to get braces, that's a myth. You do not need to have your wisdom teeth extracted to get braces. For the longest time, that's what I thought. And that's why I was like, well, I guess I'll never have straight teeth because um, my, my wisdom teeth, the bottom ones, are horizontal like that. Um, so they're sitting on nerves. And if I try to extract them, I will, I, I could potentially have nerve damage and I don't want that. Also, my teeth up here, the roots of my uh, wisdom teeth are fully grown in. They're fully impacted, which means if I get these removed up here, I will have holes in my sinuses. And because I'm 33, it won't close. They won't close. So it'll be, it'll, it's just a recipe for infection um, and more problems with my sinuses and everything so honestly the list goes on and on but i'm just glad that everything worked out because um i'm able to have this wonderful smile yay and my husband noticed the other day we went out to eat dinner and he's like hey you're actually keeping up with me with food i'm like yeah i know i can actually fit a full bite of food in my mouth without having to chew it for you know a, a long time so i'm starting to keep i'm starting to you know, eat a little bit faster and more regularly. It's, it's amazing. Anyway, so that's my update for this week. Oh, actually, so that's my update for today. Um, tomorrow I will update you with the changes and you'll see that. And then um, I will see you in a couple weeks because there's an extra week this month. So um, by the time this goes out, it'll be at the end of May. We are in May. Cannot believe it already. Okay, so one more look. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I'm at the orthodontist and they took all these off. And they're basically gonna reposition them. So all of these ones are gonna be repositioned. And I'm hoping they'll put on, on that too. Let's hope so, fingers crossed. So they're just cleaning my brackets right now. So I figured I might take a moment and show you what's going on. Yeah, the, my, my doctor said that this new arrangement should fix this tooth. So, anyway, I'll see you after they uh, finish what they're doing. So, I felt like my mouth was on fire, like smoke was coming out. <laughs> they were taking the glue off, so, all right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I just got done with my appointment and a lot of changes, oh my goodness. Okay, so, as you can see, my cage is gone. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can actually lick my lips now. So, geez. And okay, so they um, repositioned a ton of braces. 
and um, they actually went down a size in wires so that way they can get down here okay so they were actually able to put a bracket here they had to um, take a special like tool and bend the wire because it's so far back there but they're gonna pull that forward and I have four rubber bands now instead of three. So I have these ones back here. We have square, triangle, and then triangle, square. So totally different. The hooks are interesting. I'm gonna have to get used to the hooks. But it's so nice to actually not have a rubber band right in the front. And they put me back on Owl Elastics. So, there's that. Yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will um, update you in the next couple of weeks. All right, it's been two weeks since my adjustment. And this is what my teeth look like right now. Sorry, there's a lawnmower in the background. Sorry, well, here's the top. And the bottom. Okay, so. Again, sorry for the lawnmower, but yeah. So um, it's, it's so different not having my rubber band right in the front. <laughs> it's nice to be able to lick my lips. Already you can tell this tooth is moving forward. Right there. And then um, it's hard to see these rubber bands, but there's rubber bands all the way on both sides hopefully you can see those but yeah putting the ones in the very back on whew, those are challenging because I have to like stick my cheek out <laughs> and like hook it and then hook it yeah so it's kind of a chore but I'm just honestly I'm just glad that this bar the, the bracket the spring is gone and having this bracket here my bite is still a little off um, I suspect that the bottom row of teeth it will take some time for it to actually like line up with my top because I'm only using the side of my of my teeth on this side So, yeah, I'm only using half of the teeth. They still need to kind of straighten like that, so that way I can actually chew properly. Um, as for the front, I've been trying to use my front teeth more, and it's just, it's just weird because I'm not used to using my front teeth to bite into things. There are certain things that I still can't quite bite into that I have to kind of use these teeth for just because these ones are still so sensitive but they touch it's such a weird feeling <laughs> but yeah what do you guys think so far I'm getting tons of um, amazing comments from all the people that have watched my videos on my braces um, if you don't know if you're actually tuning in for the first time I actually do embroidery on my channel and I just decided to share my braces journey because I wanted to see for myself 
the change from the first time I got them on all the way through my treatment. So I've gotten a lot of awesome responses. So thank you for watching my video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Um, I'm thinking about adding more vlogging to my channel. Um, there's a couple of things in the works still that I do want to vlog about, but I'm not going to reveal those until, uh, until it's the right time. I'm not even going to give you a hint. So there is something that's going on for our family this year that we're super excited about. We're just waiting for things to finish. Um, so I'll share that journey with you too. So if you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, my Etsy shop is in the description box if you want to check that out. So um, yeah, so my main business is embroidery. So I do all kinds of embroidery stuff. Um, I'm in the middle of making all of the kits for my family. So um, I just finished a wall hanging that I'll be sharing on the channel pretty soon. So make sure to uh, subscribe so you don't miss any and make sure the notification bell is turned on and that you have all notifications turned on because I do I do post every week Saturdays at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time because I'm in Utah. So wherever you guys are watching, that's my time zone. So one more look. I'm enjoying the weather today, although it is literally raining cotton balls. I, I think one of my neighbors has some type of cottonwood tree. And just this last week, you can tell which way the wind is going because <laughs> you see it looks like it's raining cotton. So last night, the, the wind was going south and the cotton was just all going south. It was just the weirdest thing to look out my window and go, oh wow, look at all that cotton. <laughs> I feel sorry for those that are allergic. I am. Fortunately not, so luckily, luckily for me. But anyway, so there's the cotton. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see the cotton, but it like goes by my face. <laughs> so lovely springtime in Utah. Um, okay, so that's it for this video. And I will see you in my next one.